Hey, Reaper, how's it going, man? <laughs> I didn't even press that. Um, Alright. So, <clears throat> we're gonna start Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, I don't know how often we're gonna be playing it. Um, but yeah, so this is... Well, okay, I have played Final Fantasy XIV in the past. But... Very limited. Um... I played for like maybe a day or so, like five years ago, it was five or six years ago. Um, yeah. Anyways, let's create a new character. PS4. Oh, really? That sucks, man. Alright, so we don't have access to the lower two races because I don't have all the expansion packs, but that's okay. Um, I wanted to play a Hure, which is a human, basically. <laughs> okay, the Hure are said to have first traveled to Eorzea from the surrounding continents and islands. Three great migratory ways later, they are now the most populous of all civilized races. They exhibit a relatively modest physique, both in height and build, and are known for their peculiarly short, rounded ears. Cures are well suited for traveling long distances by foot, a trait thought to account for their swift proliferation. Also, yes, we have the cat girls, of course. And then the dragon girls, I guess. That's probably an accurate way to describe them. The elf girls, and then the human girls. And Viera are the bunny girls, but I can't create one, so yeah. Oh, cool, so you got it early. Very nice, man. Hell yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're gonna go with that. Uh, uh, I think we got, I think I'm leaning more towards going a Highlander. Just because I'm going for, like, a warrior, you know? So, I'm going to leave him at that height. Yeah, cool. Muscle tone. We are jacked, of course. Uh, let's change our attire. There we go. Look at that. Look at that muscle, son. He's jacked. Um, I'm going to make him white as the driven snow. Because that is how white I am. Though I am nowhere near that chiseled. <laughs> Alright, cool. Uh, yeah, man, you told me you got the complete series of Dexter. Nice. I got, um, I've got the collector's edition. Alright, now I need to pick a hairstyle. Now, I was leaning towards bald. But I kind of want to go with something cool. So let's have a look at what we got. Ah, oh, yes, we got the uh, old school emo. So cut my wrists and black my eyes. <laughs> uh, we got this here. Yeah, okay. I really like this style, actually. Kind of like a uh, mo mullet or some shit. I kind of like this one. Eh? Pin that one. Remember, we, we, we're going to make the decision. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, actually, that's pretty dope. Put, like this giant Elvis inspired pomp. I don't know what the hell to call it. Uh, hey, Aiden, how's it going, buddy? Uh, the PS Plus games for August? I mean, we've been talking about how the PS Plus games have been a bit shit. Um, and it looks like that trend is continuing. Right, we're going to enable highlights. Um, and then we're going to go with like reddish highlights. And that. Seth or Roth? <laughs> Chadley the Chad? <laughs> oh, yes, the Chadliest Chad. It's tempting. Chadley as Chad. Ooh, I like that. Not like... Oh, I mean, the jet black looks cool as well, but 
I think we go with the lighter black because it's a bit more realistic looking. Yeah, cool. I'm trying to make a legend. I wish I had hair this majestic, dude. Uh, what face do we go with? Uh, ooh, I like that one. Just change the facial hair. Yeah, actually. Actually. Yeah, dude. Totally. 100% Witcher. Definitely. Uh, yep. Go with large irises. Chadley the Chad would have scars. I mean, yeah. He is a Chad after all. Uh, we're gonna go with blue, kind of like mine. Yep. Eyebrows. Does he even have eyebrows? Doesn't look like he has eyebrows. If he does, they're very light. Then we'll go with two. Um, oh, yes, we're going to be out soon. Cool, man. Nice. I'm actually uh, going to experiment with a new... He's going to lick a lot of boots. Yeah, dude. This guy, this guy eats box. That's for sure. Um, behind his scar. Well, I was going to get rid of that scar, actually. We just haven't got to that point in the uh, character creation list. Oh, look at those big lips. Let's go with... Let's look at the standard ones. Uh, lip color. Yeah? Okay, we'll get rid of the scar. I think if he's gonna have a scar, can we give him facial hair? I kinda want him to have like proper facial hair. Is that not an option? Or can we only have that? Oh yeah, right, we can change the backgrounds and shit. Yeah, okay, can we not- we can't have different facial hair on- Oh, I guess that's only with, um, Highlanders. Okay, never mind. I might actually change to a Midlander. Uh-huh. Just make him tall like a Highlander. Jesus! <laughs> It just looks so like the, the extremes. Okay, let's. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I don't want to make a freak. Okay, I don't want to make a freak. I want to make a character who looks cool. Um. <laughs> oh, we can go with the same hairstyle. Okay, cool. Awesome. Yeah, sweet. We we'll go with the same hairstyle. Yep. Um. Anti protagonist. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, what about that? That looks kind of cool, actually. Um, I mean, I do really like the red highlights. Yeah, I, I really like the red hi highlight aesthetic. I think we stick with that. Okay, face. The other thing is the fucking. <laughs> that guy looks like a massive stoner. <laughs> um, the only thing is, the fucking these faces look very. Uh, they don't look as like badass as the faces of the Highlanders. <laughs> he got smashed. <laughs> true, true. Yes. Okay, we've got different jaws to pick. He's gonna have a big old chin. Um, hmm. I like number six. 
Yep. Baby Blues. Yep. Eyebrows. Stick with those eyebrows. Nose. Mouth. Uh, actually, let's stick with number one. Lip color. Um, it's all the different environments as well. Oops. Um. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. That looks fine to me. Uh, I'm trying to select. There we go. There we go. Uh, facial features. Wait, can we also not do facial hair on this? <gasps> I'm gonna. I want facial hair, bro. <laughs> I want like some a fucking badass beard. Is it like? I don't know. Is it like? I swear there was like. Fa I swear there was uh, facial hair options. Ah, uh, whatever. Oh, go <laughs> the squall. Kratos, oh dude, that's a Highlander. If it, Kratos would be a Highlander, for sure. There we go. He's got the extended squall. <laughs> So it kind of looks like it skipped across his face. And he got cut. Uh, tattoos. No. Uh, face paint. Um, I'm good, I think. Yep. <laughs> we gotta kill Sephiroth, boy. No oh, yeah. no oh, yeah. Okay. This was like a lot of different voice options as well. Uh huh. Uh, uh huh. Uh. <laughs> Let's hear the different cheers. Yep. Okay. I'm leaning towards... I think number four it was? Yeah, I like five. There we go. <laughs> Alright, cool. Yes. Save appearance data. Yep. Ya boy, <laughs> comments. Ya boy, Raid Shadow Legends. Oh <laughs> uh, wait, I didn't mean to press that. Raid. Oh yeah, dude, Cloud is Cloud is one hundred percent emo. Raid Shadow Legends. I wonder when they're gonna bring fucking Shadow Legends, Ray Shadow Legends, to PlayStation, dude. I wonder if it have, I wonder if it have pl a platinum trophy. Yeah, boy, Red Shadow Legends. Yeah, there we go. Uh -huh. All right, let's probably give him some clothes. That's a really good idea. <laughs> All right, we're gonna give him. My birthday, which is the 28th of November. Yep. Uh -huh. Alright, here we go. My patron deity. Who wants one that's just like a fucking warrior? Here we go. Hello. Move of glaciers and goddess of war is the guardian deity of Ishgard. Okay. 
Goddess of Love. No. No, we want... Here we go. Ralga! Breaker of Worlds is the god of destruction and a guardian deity of the now fallen nation of Alamigo. He commands the element of lightning and is associated with the eighth moon of the Eorzean calendar. Ralga is the father of both Berdegot and Halone and serves as attendant to Nemia. He is most often depicted as a magus carrying a staff of. Oh, he's, wait, he's a mage? Fuck that, we're a warrior. <laughs> Here we go. God of. is the surveyor of change in space and god of time. That sounds pretty badass. Final Raid Shadow Fantasy 14. <laughs> Final Raid Shadow Fantasy Legends 14. <laughs> but we'll, we'll go with Ralga. Yeah. I mean, we can accept that he's a mage because magic is cool, but we're also a warrior, so you know. Alright. Uh huh. Here we go. Decide, this is where we pick our class, which we can change later on, because we actually need to like level up multiple classes um, as you play. So we got the Gladiator, which is probably what I'm going to go with. Either that or the Marauder. Probably the Marauder, actually. Yeah, I think I'll go with Marauder. Um, one-handed, yeah, no, we're not one-handed blade, dude. We're a two-handed big dick sword guy. That's what we are. Pugilist, that's your, uh, isn't like an archer? No, sorry, an archer's an archer. <laughs> this is hand-to-hand -hand combat. Okay, cool. Yep. Uh, we're probably gonna go with Marauder, but we'll check all of them quickly. Also, these upgrade into other classes. So, like, Marauder Cup becomes something else, and like, they upgrade. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Lance looks pretty badass, though. I think Lance will probably be the second class of level up, maybe? Possibly. Disciples of Magic. I mean, that looks pretty cool. But yeah, we're gonna go with uh, the Marauder. Limsa La Minsa, so that's our starting city. Okay, cool. Um, yep, we're going with Marauder. Uh -huh. um, no? Um, yeah, we're going with Louis Sox. Yep. Alright, our name. But I'm going to activate the keyboard. Axel. Dragon wings. <laughs> A samurai with dragon wings. I like that. That's pretty sick. Hey, Shazza. Hey, no worries. Sign up for chaos. <laughs> I'm, I'm here to do one thing, create a character on Chaos Data Center. D, G, there we go. Axel D, G, <laughs> with the little fucking, ah, uh, there we go, that's the way to do it. Alright, easy. Sweet. Oh yeah, dude. And of course, we're gonna... Yes. Yes. Let's go, dude. Now, the question is, how do we pronounce our last name? Because it's D... apostrophe G. <laughs> so, you're finally awake. <laughs> It's actually just Skyrim. <laughs> Final Fantasy XIV. It was Skyrim all along. Oh jeez. Todd Howard, you've done it again. Dude, I actually love the hairstyle effects. It's pretty sick. Here. Yeah.
Don't stare in the sun too long, dude. You go blind. We've only really just started this adventure. Jesus. I'm gonna be hiding my helm a lot of the time. Just because I want to be able to see my chest. Yeah, we're fighting him <laughs> right off the bat. We're fighting this dude. Alright, cool. Oi, you're right, lad. Okay. Do, do we uh, try and do voices from the beginning? Hmm. You were moaning in your sleep and sweat and buckets besides. Rolling of the ship got your stomach churning, has it? Hmm. Don't seem like seasickness. Now that I look at you, it'll be either then, I reckon. I, know, I don't know what accent I'm going for here. <laughs> Some are more sensitive to the stuff than others. See, and we ain't too far from Vilbrand now, which is chock full of aetherites. No need to threat, though you'll soon get used to it. Ugh. Might as well have been blooming seasickness. Ships leaping around like a demented chocobo today. We, we, I gotta settle on a voice, dude. Okay. <laughs> I reckon I might head out on deck myself. Get myself a breath of fresh air. Limsa Laminsas. Still a fair way off, in case you were wondering. Seeing as you're a rank and all, how about you keep me company until we get here? Them youngins don't care much for conversation, see. Any road, Brennan's the name, and Pedalin's my trade. Cool. Brennan. Oh, we're on an airship. Oh, sick. Okay. Oh, so I'll, oh, I think I always loved about Final Fantasy games is the airships. It's such a cool, like, they, they all, like, they look like pirate ships and shit. But they fly. Got your nugs? Hey, poggers. Yeah, dude. Lisa Laminsa. I smell that salty sea breeze. Now then, lad. Judging by your unusual garments, I'd say you're one of the new adventurers. Am I warm? I knew it. Going wherever the wind blows, seeking fortune and glory. Now that's what I call a living. So long as you can avoid dying, I mean. Ain't no secret I'd have entered into risky business, these days especially. <laughs> what was it that first attracted you to it? Uh... There's no, there's no option for, uh... Sweet Prune Tang? That's, uh... Hmm... To win glory. Yep. Oh, you got an air fryer as well? Dude, air fryer is so good. So, like actually like air fryers are game changing. It's so good. I got like this big ass air fryer as well. It's so good. Good on eh? Well, if you're willing to take on them tasks as other folk ain't, an adventurer such as yourself can win fame what coin can't buy. When you arrive in town, you'll want to report to an adventurer's guild. You can find anything you need to know about the adventuring business in there. Just remember, though, there are more important things than fortune and glory, such as breathing. Ain't no profit in being dead, and that's a fact. Cool. Yes, dude. Like, it's, like, honestly, air fries, absolute game changers. Because, like, you can cook pretty much anything in them. And 
the cook real quick. And they, like, it totally, you just put the timer in, turns off as soon as it's done. So you don't burn anything. It's fucking great. Ships off the starboard bow! Pirate colors! Pirates? Bloody hells! Have you no sense? Get below! Yes, everyone get get below deck. We're about to get boarded. Hundred bucks? Nice. Hell yeah. Yeah, I think mine was like 120 or something. Uh yeah, I'm on I'm on uh Chaos Luis or what have you pronounce it. The one, I, I checked out our Facebook messages to make sure I got on the right one. Uh what is the word coming to? Pirates fighting on a ship flying laments and colours. Bastards either have a boatload of balls or bugger all for brains. You can rest easy, friends. We've made it out of cannon range, and no buccaneer's bark will catch this fright flighty temptress once the wind set in her sails. That was too bleeding close. Glad one of us kept his head on his shoulders. I reckon I'd have lost mine otherwise. I have, to, I have no idea what accent I'm going for, dude. It keeps changing. I need to figure it out. Oh, the carriage ride? Yep. Yeah. I think our, uh, I think S Fan did that as well. Um, if them pilots give up the chase, we must claw support. Let's head up on deck and have us a look, shall we? I'm, I'm still in a fucking accent I'm going for. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, what, what class did you go with? I went with Marauder. By the by, is this your first time? First trip to Lim Limsa Lominsa? Uh, yes. It is! Well, then, let this journey turn out. Let tell you the ins and outs of your destination. <clears throat> Limsa Lominsa prides itself in being Asia's foremost naval power. Once too long ago that the place was loyaled by pirates, and that thanks to the current admiral of civilizing influence, this city-state could have passed for a respectable nation. You'll never guess she was once a rum swilling buccaneer herself. <laughs> of course, most folks are so quick to change, and with a town full of liberty and loving ruffians, you can imagine how many naysayers and troublemakers she's got to deal with. Like them pilots who took offense to us just now. What the fuck is this accent, dude? <laughs> and if that weren't bad enough, I've heard the Sahagin are in the course just as bold as you please. Them are the sea dwelling beast men of the locals. Calls fish backs, case it in its no. At long last, land the hole! Switch back between Dragoon and Bard? Ah, oh, nice, hell yeah. Yeah, I'll probably stick with Marauder and then upgrade it when I get the chance, and then, um, once I max that out, then change to a mage class and upgrade and then max out that. Um, because that's required for trophies, so yeah. Behold, behold Limsa Lominsa, a nation blessed by the ocean's bounty and beloved of Limelon, goddess of navigation. Damn, that's a cool city, dude. <laughs> Dark Knight? Oh, I, I definitely want to do Dark Knight for sure. 100%. 100%. On a windswept isle in the that's a, that's southwestern away. corner of the realm, I don't know. I don't have the expansion pack. Either, so. Amidst I've only got up to the second expansion. The sea lies that's what the came included in the uh, Dolores deal. How many years ago it was? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's a 
To this haven for bandits and brigands, cutthroats and curs, seekers of both freedom and fortune, comes a lone adventure. Talk again, oh, of course. Dude, I love Lisa Melinsa's design. It looks so sick. Lone yet not alone, for the hero's arrival has drawn the gaze of the nation's patron deity, Lim Lane. Lim Lane, I guess I say. What realm shaking fate has she described? You, oh, so you don't, you don't need Shadowbringers to get um, Dark Knight? I thought you needed Shadowbringers for that. Cat girls! Ay, ay, ay! And here is where we part with air, son. Well, I was just getting, to, I was just getting, I was just getting handled on your voice. I'm off to the Marcus to live me wares, then it's on to the higher road for me. Here, I want you to have this, by way of thanks for saving me ass earlier. Hey, you never did tell me your name, did ya? Well, here's an idea. Become the sort of story personage I can brag about having met, and I'll consider a square. Alright. Alright, so we, we just gotta become famous, and then he'll give a shit. Cool. <laughs> Through peril and hardship, discovery Excellent. and triumph, may the navigator guide this brave soul on his life's voyage. Till sea swallows all. That's what she said. Yes, a giant crystal. <laughs> Dude, the narrator actually does something with the Harry Potter game narrators. It could be. It could actually be. Oh, man. Speaking of, I need to get back to that and finish the May. It's not that I want to. It's been so fun. Hey, you there! I, I mean you! This is my district, and I make it my business to know all the scum that washes up in it. Huh? Ah, an adventurer fresh off the boat, is it? Well then. Allow one of Lim Solomon's finest to set you on the right path. Hop to it, lad. I haven't got all day. Welcome to Lim Limsa Laminsa, a bustling city-state filled with scoundrels and brigands, the rough-cut diamond of the Rotono Sea. Please select the control scheme you wish to use. Uh, controller? Um, ah, oh, fuck, do I have to, like, rechange the keybinds again? Shit. Um, one second. Wait, you lost your house in the game? Oh, fuck. Hope not. Um... One sec. Okay, no, never mind. I didn't change it. Cool. Awesome. Sweet. Uh, accepting quests... Yep. Yep, cool. To be recognized as an adventurer in the city-state of Limsa Laminsa, you must regis first register yourself with the Adventurer's Guild. Alright, let's do it. Ah, oh, true. Okay. Now, th oh, that's now then, I'm sure you're itching to explore, but adventurers are required to register their presence in the city. Without a bit of local knowledge, 
You'll like to get your throat slit in some piss-sinking alley. Before you go anywhere else, get yourself down to the Drowning Wench and enroll with the Adventurer's Guild. Alright then, let's go. It's not far. Just head straight down this street and speak with Grafar. He'll show you how to work with that big moving platform we call the Crow's Lift, and then I'll take you up to the pub. Once you're there, look for a fellow by the name of Badaron. He's the proprietor of the wench. He might curse like an ale sodden sailor, but the man's got a soft spot for wide-eyed newcomers like yourself. He'll set you straight. Got all that? Good. Now run along, and may the navigator guide you on your journey. Very well. Let's go then. Cool. Our first quest. Use the duty list to help you complete your task. Okay. Uh, there's also something else I set up in a second. Uh, is this configuration, is it? Um, no, sorry, it's character, sorry. Um, character config. Uh, um. So I think I want those. House is safe. Oh, thank God. That's good. Um, no, I've actually got up to the second expansion. Um, but I guess because I logged in on the PS5, they're like, oh, here's a free two weeks to try it out, I guess, on my account. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure that's why. Yeah, pretty sure that's why. Um... Other things I changed, I'm just quickly checking. Um, target, yes. Uh, filters. Yeah, cool. Awesome. Sweet, I think that's good enough for now. Um, yeah, the HUD's fucked up. Oh, we'll be moving this around. Uh, let's see. Yep, left crossbar. Right crossbar. Let's have a chat. Welcome to Limsa Lamensa. If you're you've a mind to visit the drowning wench, the crow's lift will take you there. Yes, let's go. Uh, yes. There are a few. I just can't remember all of them right now. Alright. Batter on. This is, oh yeah, this is the innkeeper. Right. How do I do this? How should I do this voice? He looks very happy. Ah, greetings see you, lad. Will it be? Ah, oh, you ain't here for a drink, are ya? We have come with a mind of the television, I reckon. Well, you ought to find those sorts of work here in Lamenta. 
The day is well done, and it's most hospitable of the studies is its learning wrench. She's also the owner of the Ventures Guild here in the Minsa. That's where we've got the desk, especially for you in the Chris Guild Guild business. Hey, we, 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 why you seem to spend more time saving the necks of whelps like yourself than what in the throat of like this? <laughs> Adventure is having a good you your trouble to see. <laughs> but the nice thing is these parts, and it can't even be in trouble wherever you look. If you manage to steer clear of the fish backs and cobalt outside the city, the pirates on the inside will get your fire instead. <laughs> just like, I just imagine this guy just being like <laughs> really happy, really energetic, and drunk. And if you don't mind, it's always a county and everybody to finish the job. Oh, no one knows what they're playing, of course, but they're playing anything. You can be sure it's a lot to kill us all. Kill all of us. Hey, this town seems peaceful in the glance, but look again and you'll see people living in fear of what tomorrow might bring. And who can blame him at everything that's happened? He was the only mighty blow during the calamity, but now Holmes went to the only one thing that will come wiped out the face of the existence by the thrice dead bastard of a dragon. It took our bleeding memories too, and no one's been able to <laughs> explain it in a way that makes any sense. Any use of sense. None of the folks that I see any of my. <laughs> fuck this voice. What the fuck is this voice? <laughs> <laughs> Tell the tale is in the glee. Oh no, the tale actually goes. Tis all the foggy, a crack of ashes from the bard in an older veil. You can't imagine why people might fear for the future if they can't write a little call of the past. <laughs> but there is one thing we can all remember, and that's the good of the veterans will lay down their lives so that I can use your back for the brink when she was bound for the abyss. Well, I say we remember, truth is, I thought we ain't forgotten what they did for us. This goddamn calamity spawned memory loss and robbed us of their names. It won't even let us picture their damn faces. Tis like staring at a gold flag in front of the sun. All you see in your blind is a shadow set against the blinded spire. And that's how every bug of those claims is by the way. Give or take the old gun. It's... <laughs> Is this what's called people calling these areas the Hewarriors of Light? God damn it. If Limps is ever gonna be put this time of darkness behind it, it's gonna need events list to help banish the fear. It's gonna need new heroes like the, like the ones we lost. Maybe one day, you ought to be one of them. And that's why we, any aid we... <laughs> okay, so this voice does not match him, never mind. I'll go into the different voice of this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me check the clip. Oh, jeez. Big summer, wait. Shaz, a big summer blowout? Nani? Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> Maybe one day you'll be one of them. And that's why we, why any aid we can give to an adventure is what off it well spent. What do you say, lad? You will to lend us your strength. Yes. <laughs> Me thanks to you. And the navigators and all. I knew you should steer you my way for a reason. The fuck was that? Fucking Mario? Jesus. Hey, but listen to me, you're sounding like a sun touched fish life. Tis I in time we got your mark in my book. Put your scroll right here. Right there. Put your scroll right there. Excellent DG it is. Is it? I need a fine name it is. Damn right it is. It's a fucking great name. Great name. Congratulations! You're now an upstanding member of the Adventurer's Guild! You're there, Adventurer! Wait. <laughs> Fuck. You there, Adventurer! You sailed to the Lost Ferry, did you not? Yes, I did. 
The captain reported being attacked by a pirate vessel, and several witnesses have testified independently that a passenger matching your description went out on deck mere moments before the incident took place. Sending in friend signals, were you? No. I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Oh, no, just a minute there, officer. You got the wrong bloke. This fine, upstanding young gent is me dear departed grandma's sister's niece's cousin's closest companion. The lad wouldn't be caught dead flatternizing with such unsavory elements. Is that right? <clears throat> you are surely aware of this re of the recent kidnappings. Respectfully, then, we cannot be too trusting of outsiders at the time when the loyalty of even our closest friends is in doubt. Aye, you gotta make a good point there, officer. A very good point. Very wise. You need not worry, though. I keep one eye open at all times. Me and two or more. Often than not. Now, sir, what do you say you uh, take it or be fine as ale? Before ye return to your duties, eh? <laughs> not a watered-down cup of piss like last time, I should hope. Aye, he's got the faintest idea what you're all about, officer. The wrench might offer some of the cheapest glug this side of the Strait of Manoroth. But that don't mean it won't get you good and pickled. And look, there's a shell over there, just climbing to a to be sat on. So, kick off the boots, Sammy. <laughs> Stop right there, criminal scum. You have violated the law. Pay a fine, or you're going to jail. You don't have to look skills, those eager, bloody yellow jackets. There's been a splat on kidnapping sea, and they ain't got a clue who's behind them. Naturally, they've taken to clapping irons on anyone who looks vaguely suspicious, which means ventilators, visitors, and pretty much any bugger in this town. Don't think it personally, though. Us Lemonsons gonna be an end strong bunch, bunch of the bastards. Tis through a particular time, you'll glow on ya. No, what was I? Ah, yeah! Welcome to Linsa Melinsa! Where the sea's as green as the faces of my patrons, are there a few too many black belly whiskies? Now, take a moment to gather your wits, and we'll get started with learning your ways of the city. Alright, excellent. Quest complete! This concludes the introductory game tutorial. You've taken your first steps as an adventurer in the city of Limsa Limsa. Listen well to the wisdom of Bataron Ten Fingers, then go forth and discover the incredible adventures that await you. Excellent. Hey, level up. Let's go, dude. Okay, so that's main story, and that's uh, unlocking new duties or features. Okay, cool. Awesome. Sweet. Um. Why is it not shooting Okay, we need to change, uh... Is that right? I'm trying to remember how I, cause I, I did a quick test set up on another character. Um. Is that right? Yeah, there we go. Awesome, okay. And then we can adjust it some more in a second. Bataron, proprietor of the Drowning Wench, wants you to perform three tasks that will help you learn the fundamentals of venturing. Okay. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know why. Maybe, uh... Yeah. Might need to, like, restart the PS4 or something. Like, um... Switch it off at the wall and then turn it back on. I don't know. Right, then. Let's start here with a nice and easy three tasks. I want to help you get used to life here in Leminster. 
Firstly, if you head down the floor and point your nose to the west, you'll get an eyeful of the great glowing crystal in the middle of the courtyard. Well, that's an etherite, a device that which can, what can move you from one place to another in the blink of an eye. Ain't no swifter way of travel, providing there's an etherite where you want to go, of course. I have have a chat with the yellow jacket on guard down there, and you'll be treated to a lecture on the workings of the device. Before you do that, though, remember to touch the thing. Strange as it sounds, it won't work till you have. Second on the list is the marketplace. You'll find weapons and armor and all your adventure in bits and pieces. Okay, I can skip that. Mean to. Don't go throw any gill around just yet, though, or you'll get fleas quicker than you can say. Where's, where's me pur coin purse so light? Have a word with Swazblade instead is the head of the merchant's killed, by the way. <laughs> the fuck is the fuck? I keep changing my accents, bro. <gasps> Give him an old octet and he'll treat you well. For the last of me helpful ints, I'll suggest you to meet some fellow axe wielders at the Marauders Guild. I guarantee you'll learn a few of your tricks for swinging that head splitter of yours if you join that crew. <sighs> Uh, okay, I need. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, that's fair, man. That sucks about the PS4. I mean, I'm sure it's fine. Might just need to maybe do like a factory reset or something. Boot it up in safe mode. I guarantee you'll learn a few of your tricks for swinging in a head split of yours if you join their crew. But, uh, Blue Thota is the front desk. At the front desk is the one to get you started. Got all that lad? See to them three tasks will take you on the jaunt around the city and help you work out where everything is. Now, I must be getting on a little wrong, eh? Bugger it! There I go sending off, sending you off without telling you something crucial. That bloody calamities, middle light mess of your memory, I swear. Well, that'll be ail. Anyway, well, you're out. If you happen to pass any poor souls that would, would look like they might need your help, consider giving them uh, a tale of the wall a listen, eh? Sounds like a tour, but I admit, but you never know what interesting opportunities could be looking out there. Just waiting for you to stumble on them. For example, Ninia, over yonder's, been casting glances at chasing. Oh. Ooh, is that, is that a. Is that a lady? Is that a lady? Why not lend your in here? See what she has to say, eh? Aye, you'd like to find yourself flooding all the Ellens in the beginning, but when she built a reputation as a man, folk can trust, the jobs will get harder, and the rewards more generous. Okay, that's a dude, never mind. <laughs> I was like, what was that? Is that a female who's uh, been checking me out since I came here? <laughs> yeah, a lot of voice acting, fuck. Oh, man. If you had the time, I'd also seek the advice of the smith heir in the wrench. The lad, as bare as the title, I have some fine advice for them. What, uh, what are just starting out in the profession? And that, my lad, is elder. You get be Got to be becoming a legend among adventurers. He's like, sup? I was checking you out over here. How you doing? Cool, man. Quest accepted. Let's do it, man. <laughs> oh, do they add voice actors to some characters later on? But not in the beginning? Shit. <laughs> uh, to leave the drowning wench, you must accept the quest making a name by speaking with Ninia. Okay, cool. Sweet. Um. Yep. I'm sure I fucking. Okay, my sister's friend moved in with us and she uh, lives in the room right above me. She must be thinking, like, what the fuck is going on? She just hears me talking like a fucking maniac. <laughs> Okay. Uh, <laughs> I need to change this hard a little bit. Um. <laughs> oh 
shit. Um, let's move. Where is it? Uh, let's move that down a smidge. Yep. Try to line this up a bit better. Um, yeah, that's not too shabby. Um, I'll, as, as I get more used to the, like the UI, I'll probably end up making these a fair bit smaller as well. Fuck, I didn't press save, you dick. Um, <laughs> fuck me. Um, okay. Excellent. That's better. Uh, Ninia! How are you doing? Ninia, a veteran adventurer, has some information that might be interesting to you. Um, oh god, it's a Lollafell. Okay. Not a whole lot of Heaven's Ward, yeah. Well, would you look at this? A shiny new adventurer! Listen close, lad! I have some information that might just help you put you on the map here in Laminsa. I was passing through Bulwark Hall not long ago and saw a bunch of heroes just scattered about on the ground. Now, I'm not entirely certain, but I think they might have been in the black market wares known as Dream Flowers. Limsa Laminsa is a busy port. Not all the merchants that blow in across the strait are above board, if you know what I mean. How the plants end up in the mise and mast, who knows? Might have been a deal gone bad, but the important thing is you make a name for yourself by handing them in. Speak to Skandrail, and she'll get you down to the first floor. Then all you have to do is pick up the herbs and take them to Ahriskif at the Octant. Being a worldly captain, he knows a thing or two about such shady goods. Alright, cool. Easy. Alright, let's take the elevator. You wish to visit the bulwark hall below? The crow's lift is ready when you are. Yes. Okay. Yep. Nice. Ah, uh, yes I did. I wasn't sure how to... Uh, sec. Social? Uh, friend list. Yes. Hey, there we go. Nice. Gonna get my peculiar herbs. <laughs> yeah, I think I think I got it like during a cutscene. I think I got your friend request during a cutscene. Took like Vincent from F7. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, there's, I've got a lot of voices I can do. So we'll uh. Free companies, ah, uh, these are like guilds. Right, yep. Uh, kill your herb. Now a sec. Just wanna get these herbs. There we go. Uh, social. No. Um,. Oh, free company. There we go. It's not available at this time. Okay. Can I... Let's see if I can just, like, click on this. Hold up. Um... Oh, there we go. Cool. Yep. Sweet. There we go. The emo army. <laughs> nice. Sweet. Yep. Are 
Imawami. Let's go, dude. Yeah. Ah, can't just like swing my sword for fun. I'm sure there's a way to do it. I just don't know how. Uh, right. Is this? Oh yeah, this is this is going to stop too. Nice. Yes, I am a hid sick. Uh, uh, I am a hid sick. Skyf. A hid skyf. You have some herbs you wish me to examine. Yes, I do. I have some dank herb to uh. Share with you. Wait, how do I fucking? How do I get it on? 